So uh, this is these are the instructions for implementing the project. And you have to open Scala IDE, create new Maven project, and you have to add those dependencies in there. So we've already done that. So then uh, this this graphx demo is the project we created, and the package is r dot spark dot graphx demo. And in pom dot xml, you have to add those dependencies. So we have added those dependencies here. And then we need to go and download the code from the link. The link is right there. So when you open the link, this is the code. This is the, and you need to copy the code. And then uh, you have to paste it in in that file. In in you have to create an you have to create a new object, and you have to paste the code in that object. And then you have to. And then you have to right click on the project and click as uh, run as and maven clean and this this what it does is it, it flushes the target file it, it deletes if there was any any jars created before and now uh, you have to right click run as <sighs> maven install now what this does is this creates a fresh uh, target directory and a fresh jar file which we can use So this is running now. Uh, there's supposed to be some. Looks like there's some error. Let's just uh, run it again and see. Let's just run it again. <coughs> it's it's building the jar file. And okay, it is successful. The jar file is now created. So as you can see in the target, there's graphics demo dot jar. You need to copy this jar. You need to copy this jar and paste it in witness CP. So you can you can run it on the you can run it on the cluster. As you can see, we've already copied the jar, so we're gonna delete that and we're gonna copy that again. So renaming that jar, renaming this jar as graphics demo or graphics basics, graphics basics. And now we are going to copy this jar to our cluster and that is right there. Now to run to run the cluster, we have to use that command. We have to use spark to hyphen submit. So there's no input files for this this jar file. There's no input files, so the input is hard coded. So by just running the by running this command, we can get it. Like uh, the class path is or dot spark dot graphics demo or graphics basics, and then the jar file name, and then the output output path, and then once we run it, uh, the program is finished running. And now we have to get the output file from uh, HDFS. So let's let's uh, we're just getting we, there are multiple output files. So we're using the command you uh, the graphics out slash star to get all the files here, and it's it it has come to graphics basics out part one. So these are the seven files. So these are the seven directories which are there, and each directory has a. Uh, each, each directory has an output file 